I bet when you hear the word translation, you're probably thinking of languages. So if I say thank you in English or shukriya in Urdu or gracias in Spanish, the sound changes, the spelling changes, but the meaning remains identical. It's still gratitude, just expressed differently. So that's exactly what translation means in maths. A translation is simply sliding a shape from one place to another without altering what it is. The size doesn't change, the angles don't change, the orientation even doesn't change. Just as gratitude stays gratitude, a square stays a square, no matter where you place it. Think of it like moving your sofa to the other side of the living room. It hasn't shrunk, stretched or rotated, it's just in a new spot. So in this capsule, we'll explore translation step by step. First, we'll look at simple moves with clear, positive directions. Then, we'll look at what happens when we move left or down with negative numbers. Then, we'll look at how we can combine moves into one neat translation. And finally, we'll look at why translations aren't just classroom tricks, but that they actually matter in the real world. So by the end of all of this, you'll see translations as more than just a set of brackets and numbers. You see them as the language of movement without the loss of meaning.